plenty of gold and land. He went and reared up like a dirty old tinker when I went and asked him for his daughter's hand. I resolved there and then for my biddy's sake that the two of us would elope. So I borrowed the ladder from Mickey No Brian and twenty yards of good strong rope. Then I put the ladder up to Biddy's boot, you are. That's the French for a woman's bed. She put her foot. On the first rung of the ladder, we all fell down 27 and a half hours. Someone landed right on top of my fucking head. <laughs> so I flung her into the old gentleman cart, and for the clergy, we sat out. We found Father Murphy in McCarthy's pub with his head stuck in a barrel of stout. Well, he looked at us. With his beery old eyes, and he sighs, Biddy, a hop and down. He says, I'll have a couple of more small gins, a few pints of Guinness, and I'll marry you, my son. I'll only charge you half a crown, or twelve and a half no pence, yeah, or what's that in your own? Ten cents. So. Now, do you take this fine strapping lump of a woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Will you feed her bacon and cabbage and spuds for the rest of her natural life? But when the icy winds blow up around her own legs, will you guard her from the chill? Or when she turns over the nice floors like a big arse, will you go out and a few hot water bottles? Or be Jeffers father, I will, to be sure. Now we've been married for twenty-two and a half long years. I only regret one particular day. That was last Saturday fortnight, she told me. She was in an old family way. For you in Florida, pregnant. I understood. <laughs> so I fucked her into the old Jonathan oh, cart and she landed like an old sack. I took her back to her father, said, Go away, you dirty mate, smelly, stinking old crater. You can have your old daughter back. Yeah. Oh,